Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. So for all your tea sipping needs, make sure you guys go on to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. So I've been wanting to talk about this topic for a while now, but I wanted to wait to see how everything played out. So if you guys don't know, this is about Chris Sales and Parker McKenna. Now, I don't know a lot about Chris Sales. I know he was dating Queen Naja, and she's another big YouTuber. She's blown up. She's a singer and all that stuff. And then they've since broken up, and she's pregnant by somebody else. That's really the extent that I know about these people. But um, anyhow, he was dating Parker McKenna. And he's a young girl who played Katie in My Wife and Kids. And so back in September, she posted these pictures of her with a black eye, her body was bruised. She was clearly beat up. And at that point, people knew that she was dating Chris Sales. So she really didn't want to say anything. Initially, she lied to the police when the police were called and said she got into a fight. Um, and then people talked to her and let her know that this was not her fault and that she needed to be honest. And she ended up pressing charges. She also came onto social media to address the situation as well. Go ahead and check this out. So Parker says, first and foremost, I would like to humbly and sincerely say thank you from the bottom of my heart to every single person who has reached out in support and said a prayer for me during this difficult time. Your love and continued support makes me feel at ease. I'm looking forward to resuming my life and focusing on my career. At this time, I've been advised not to speak on this matter. Thank you all for patience. Thank you all for your patience with me and your kind message. They have really lifted my spirits and made me feel as though you all are on this journey with me. I would like to add to those of you who have reached out with your own personal stories, I have read all of them. Please know that I stand with you, for you, and by you. I wish you all peace and healing. Love, Parker. So that's what Parker wrote. Um, and so as of October 25th, Chris Sales was arrested and thrown in jail. And then this weekend, he got out on bail, okay? But what's so crazy, he got out on bail. He made a live stream. He said that basically she was lying. He was going to prove it. He put it on his son. And then what happened? Grand opening, grand fucking closing, okay? Because just this morning, he was remanded back to jail. They basically revoked his bond. And they're saying that they did that because he had impersonated a police officer so this entire situation is crazy i want you guys to go ahead and watch his instagram video check this out really quick y'all thanks to my lawyer i'm out and just to let everybody know to clarify everything that did not happen i promise to god on my son none of that stuff happened all that stuff that y'all read do not believe social media none of that happened i promise to god i put that on my son Honey. So like I said, grand opening, grand closing. The judge is saying that now his bail is set at $40,000. They're keeping him in there. Um, so this entire situation is really disturbing. And also this is what the criminal report is also reporting. They're saying that Chris Sales is being accused of third degree felony assault. They're saying that the police responded to a call at an apartment complex the ex-couple shared. The police noted that Posey told them that Sales became enraged became enraged when he noticed a message from another man to her on Instagram. McKenna says that Sales began slapping her with the open hand, striking her in the torso and other body parts. She claims that he repeatedly struck her, knocking her to the floor, which left a golf ball size, which left her with golf ball size bruises. She accused Sales of punching her in the face with a closed fist, causing a black eye. Sales allegedly placed his hands around her neck and applied pressure, which resulted in her being unable to breathe. She told police that she fought back, fearing that he was going to kill her. All right, so you guys just heard me read that. So this entire situation is very serious. I'm glad that Parker ended up getting the strength to go and file charges. What he did to her is not okay. I don't care if she was talking to another guy, if another guy was DMing her, texting her. He had no business putting his hands on her like that and beating her. He very well could have killed her with the way he was choking her and doing all that stuff. You know, so I'm not buying his side where he's saying that he did nothing wrong. She clearly has evidence. She has the bruises. She has the pictures, the police report. So it's going to be very interesting to see how this plays out. But this entire situation is 
disturbing. I hope a lot of young girls take this as a lesson that anybody can be in an abusive situation. Anyone can be abused regardless of their status, regardless if they're famous, not famous. And at the end of the day, you have to find strength to get yourself out of that situation. So anyways, y'all can go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire disturbing situation concerning Chris Sales and Parker McKenna and him getting remanded back to jail after getting out this weekend. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. <laughs> hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.